Karen and I'm back to do another recipe and this one is me finally using my spiralizer. Apologies for my hair, this is me, got conditioner on it and I leave it on it for a couple of hours but it's lunchtime and I'm going to make my lunch. It's a Saturday um, and I'm actually going to try two things today so you'll see two videos with my hair wet like this because I'm, this first one I'm not sure I'm not sure how filling it will be on its own, but this you could either have this as a whole lunch if you're the type of person that can be full up by just having a salad, or you could have this as a side dish to a bigger lunch or to just a piece of salmon or something like that. Um, and then the other, th these are two dishes that I'm not 100% sure on. So the second one, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna enjoy it. So I'm gonna try them both, why not? So the first one I'm doing is the uh, spiralizing one. So you need some salt, some avocado, some sesame oil and a little bit of lemon juice. You can use the real lemon if you like. Some walnuts or pine nuts if you prefer and some Parmesan cheese. So if you would like to see how to make this, um, what will I call this? Courgette salad, then please come with me. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just top and tail the courgette. And I'm not gonna peel it today. I'm actually, I'm just gonna rinse it real quick, but I'm not gonna peel it. If this tastes rubbish, I'll tell you <laughs> with the skin on and um, you can peel it because I didn't peel it last time. Um, no, I did peel it last time and it was nice, but I'd like to see what it's like with the skin on. Okay, so this is the spiralizer. This is the Quizique one I'm using, and this was, I think, about 30 pounds from Amazon, and it's just much easier for me to use. And if you've got any problems with your joints or anything, this one is much easier. So you put this on sideways. It took me a while to figure out that that was the best way to use it for the spiralizer side of things. And here's my courgette, so I'm just gonna put it, there's a little, plastic point there i'm just going to put that in the middle and then put this on top and hold it down okay so then you just start twisting now it doesn't always go in one long spiral sometimes it does i can see there's one there but then there's a couple that have kind of broken up Okay, so you're left just with a little stump at the end on here, but that's fine. Put those aside. So this is what you're left with. So I'm just gonna put this into a shallow bowl. I'll show you what it looks like. There's a few bits I'm gonna take out there actually. So you can see, like I said, some of it has gone into spirals, but not all of it, some of it is separated. And then um, in a little, jug here I'm just going to put a splash of sesame oil not very much at all that's probably about two teaspoons and then put a tiny bit of lemon in it so just a few drops again that was probably half a teaspoon and then just shake it around and I'm going to pour that over the courgettes just kind of kind of dribble it over like you would any kind of salad and in fact what I sometimes do to get the most of it is put whatever I'm putting this because I use this sauce a lot into the jug and then just pour it back out again and then just move it around with my hands. That's it covered in that kind of sauce. Okay, then I'm gonna get an avocado and chop that up. So that's my avocado there. I'm just gonna chop it up. I didn't take much of the avocado because it is quite high calorie, but if you're having this as a main meal, then it, I think that's fine. If like me, you're trying two things, which I am today, um, then you might, or, or if you're having it as a side salad, you might wanna use less avocado. Um, and just perhaps use one of them, but it's really beneficial fats in avocado, it's so good for you. So I'm just gonna put that on top of that courgette. And then I'm just gonna take some walnuts and I'm going to sprinkle this over it. Just gonna make sure that they're very small pieces, I don't want any big chunks in it. I'm probably using about 15 grams worth, 15 grams of walnuts. So again, this will be about a three, 300 calorie lunch. And then, again, this is a step you can miss if you don't want it too rich, um, but I'm just putting a little bit of Parmesan over it. And this is really good if you're having it for that main meal, you know. And that's the finished product, really quick to make. It's a really good one that's a real quick and healthy one to make for lunch. So I hope that you enjoyed that and that maybe gave you some inspiration. You can buy a spiralizer for a three or four pound off Amazon. The first one I bought was about four or five pounds, something like that. But it's one where you have to twist yourself as opposed to using um, just a sort of windy tool like the one that we just used there. Um, but you can do that. It's just, you know, I've got arthritis in my joints and it makes that 
really difficult for me. Whereas that one, I can manage to do a courgette. Um, for me, I, I had a taste of it, it's absolutely lovely, but I think I would have that with a salmon fillet um, and maybe even miss off the oil, you know, just have the courgette and walnuts. No, I'd maybe put a tiny bit of oil in it. But anyway, I think I'd probably have that as a kind of side to a salmon fillet, but I know that there are a lot of people that like to just eat a salad, and especially if you're vegetarian, that would be a great idea um, with the avocado and walnuts in it as well. So um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll speak to you again soon.